Matic Show. Welcome to the Leo Matic Show. Welcome to the Leo Matic Show. Welcome to the Leo Matic Show. So today we're going to review the metal talking kind of trucks. We got Big Buddy. So yeah, big big buddy is not uh, big, big big buddy is not a Tonka. It's um, I don't know who made that one actually. We'll see if we can find that. And now for today, we're going to do this guy. So for the tow mechanism, you can do that. So let's get a look at the side here real quick. And then the front. So you can see it says Superstar Service with a Smile from Tonka Towing and. Talk on the wheels. The, set, the other side's the same. Let's look at the front of this. I think this is like a Looks like this is a Ford. Meant to be a Ford. Um, and you can see, so you can see there's Tonka all over this. Tonka on the wheels. Tonka, hopefully you guys can see that in the bed right there underneath the tow hook. This one you can tell is not a Tonka because there's no name <laughs> anywhere on it. Paper sticker in the front. We're trying to um, rip off. The oh, there full, it is. And the cabinet is full of spider webs. So it's uh, Buddy L is apparently the name there, I think. Let's see here. Okay, guys, you can see Buddy L. You can barely make it out there. This is the Imperial Toy Company. Um, so Big Buddy from Buddy L is, is uh, what this one is. And this one is a Tonka. You can see it is a Road Rescue Series. And Tonka. And of course, yes, my favorite toy, the Road Grader. And what you do, the little lever that, if, if you can get a close shot, there's a little lever that moves the Yeah, let's come over there. There's not a lot of decoration on this one, but this is the old classic metal ones. These things will last years, like decades. There's nothing you can really do to these. It's a break them. Plastic hubs. Now these things will take a pounding. Every one of these toys, except for the tow truck, as you can see, has spent a lot of time outside. In fact, I think um, the road grader and Big Buddy left outside most of the time before our move. Uh, since we moved, they've been pretty much indoor toys. And the, and the door is starting to pop. This, this thing right here. Yeah, so some of the plastic inside is disintegrated a little bit. You can see there's something that Leo is taking on. I'm not sure what that is. There's an attempt at an engine in the back there. Oh, that's <laughs> that's is that, it's not from him. That's from um, that's from one of the brooders. I don't know who put it in there. I don't know either. So uh, that's not actually one of the toys there. But you can see there's no steering wheels, no seats, anything like that. Very very plain. This one you can't even see inside. It's gray plastic for a windshield. And this. But this this one's been in all the time in Spider Central. Sometimes the spiders the spiders well, they build did, a new nest in there. Yeah, they, they yeah, it's been in Spider Central a lot. They did the uh, spiders did some stuff outside as well as grass and stuff in it. Uh, this one isn't spanned correctly for attempting to ride in, so it's not super well balanced for that. But it's fine as an actual toy. I used to ride it in the old house. Yeah, Leo would try to ride down a hill. We don't have a hill to do that with anymore, but since we moved, but he used to do that quite a bit. It doesn't work quite as well as the Tonkas, I don't think, but you can see there's the headlights on the front of this thing. Um, and you, you can actually adjust the blade. So the blade, you can adjust either up or down. I like to keep it up and then you so can... So you can just, here, do, yeah, so let's show them. Tilt, tilt it up on one side. So you can adjust it up on one side if you want to. Or you can adjust it back and forth. Show how to do back and forth. No, no, not up and down, back and forth. There you go. It's like a chuggling dirt. Yeah, so you guys can do all sorts of, it's pretty, that one's pretty fun. Let us know in the comment section down below if you've watched Tonka before. Yeah, and this one is just a regular Euclid. All it does is dump, but these are awesome. You gotta have those. Guys, if you're playing outside in the sun, in the, in the sand, if you guys are playing outside in the dirt, you gotta have this kind of stuff. This one's better just for roads, but this one, oh, man, you can do anything with that thing. Dig stuff up and the whole kit and caboodle. 
All right, and the, the wrecker, let's show them how the wrecker works. So there's a little lever, if you can see that, that's bright yellow, but then that makes this. Yeah, that and raises go, it up. And you can see the Tonka sign. Yeah. And then if you press the lever back down, then it'll go okay, down. Okay, and then there's and, the and tow then you, hook. And you can move it too. Yeah, so you can, that's actually a pretty good tow hook. You can you can put stuff. And I got see, this, got a nice and I got this one to my birthday. Yeah, this was one of Leo's birthday gifts. Um, actually, you know what, so is, uh, no, that was a Christmas gift, huh? The Road Grader was a Christmas gift. Yeah. Yeah, and then this one we just bought because we saw it in Walgreens and we needed a, we needed a big heavy duty metal dump truck, so we bought that one. And um, Bug Buddy is gooder, and I like how, and I like, and Dumpy is actually the brother, um, and actually Big Buddy's brother's, um, brother is, is actually... Is actually dumpy. Yeah, so you can see the. I mean, these are these aren't obviously very complicated toys. Uh, there's not much to in any capacity that tow truck. Um, it's it's probably designed for more of a younger audience. This one, obviously, you can see had a ton of paper stickers on it, which um, I did, did not last outdoors at all. There was some you can see back here. But the parts that matter on this thing are still going strong. I I annihilated it. Well, you didn't do anything to the labels. That was just being outdoors. There was some, I believe, in the front too. Yeah, there's some on the grill. Those got pretty much hammered. Just a classic Euclid uh, quarry truck shape to this one. This is a good truck. I like that one a lot. It rolls really well, as you can see. And also, so does uh, so does the road grader when you don't have the wheel stuck on the blade. <laughs> and this one, yeah, that one's pretty good too. Um, I'm not sure what the dumper does. None of these have doors that open, of course. Actually, that's good. Here, open that up. Let's take a look at this. Not a lot of detail in any of this stuff either, guys. But you wouldn't really probably expect any particular need for it. Does your dad work at a quarry site? Yeah, do you guys know anybody that works truck? in construction, drives a quarry truck, or that makes roads and has a road grader? Or guys, I don't know. You know, we sure oh, like we sure the like highway through hell. Yeah, we sure like the highway through hell. So whether they work on the Coca Hall or not, if you know somebody who's a tow truck driver, leave us a comment. We know Jamie Davis. Yeah, we know who that is. Yeah, we're very, very fascinated by all that stuff. We'd love to hear from you guys. Let us know. What's up, if you guys know of any of that stuff? What's your favorite? What's your favorite sort of vehicles? So guys, um, also, you know, with detail, you don't really get a lot of that in the metal toys. These are just designed to be just hammers, just durable day in, day out type of vehicles um, that you can, do, that you can leave outside. It's actually really good. But if you want detail, you can always go to the Brooders. Brooders are, and we've got numerous reviews of those up that you guys can check out as well. Smokestack. Yeah, yeah, there's a rubber smokestack on the back. Move it. Oh, I'm on fire! <laughs> as, as you can see, Actually, this it is looks all... like part of the smokestack is broken off because they don't go vertical, they go, they're angled. Let's go look at the bottom. I think part got ripped off. Okay, yeah, here's the bottom of this thing. This is all dirty up from outside. Yeah, you can see this has definitely spent a lot of time out of doors. And in fact, actually, if we look at the bottom of this one, we see the same thing. And the axles are kind of dirty though. Yeah, there's some grass in there. What else is in here? Ow. Just some grass and dirt. Most of the spider stuff is out. I cleaned it up so we could see the logo, of course. Uh, and then what about the tow truck? Yeah. Have that one yet? And as you can see, and here it's out nice and clean. Yeah, that one is. Look at that. There's nothing to this. There's not even exhaust pipes in here, guys. So uh, no engine or anything like that, but you can see this is... The, those rooms are kind of shiny. Completely clean, yeah. This one has not really taken any sort of a pounding. We, um, This isn't one of our more frequently played with toys, but um, these other ones let's take a look at definitely the rims. get a lot more wear and, and tear on, on them. And on the trucks, let's take a look at the cabs. Okay, so we're looking at the cabs or the rims? The cabs. Okay, and it looks like something happened to the roof of the road grader too, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there. Looks hit, like it got a pounding. Yeah, got hit by rocks or something. So there's the cab. And the cab here is Look all at this cab here. Plastic over. 
And this is just a really cheap plastic pack. I'm actually surprised. And let's take a look at the rims. You can see this one's starting to yellow out down, or starting to white out down here. So the sun, the sun, the UV rays of the sun are starting to degrade the plastic of the cab on this one. Hey, um, let's look at the rims now. But, oh, guys, there's a little seat in there. Is there a steering wheel too? Is there, oh, guys, I never noticed this before. Let's see, is there a, oh, no, there's not. It's just, it's like an instrument panel, but there's no, no steering wheel. But look at that seat. That is, <laughs> that's hilarious. There's all kinds of dirt and grass and stuff in there too. Okay, those are very shiny rims, no doubt about it. Yeah, let's look at all the rims. And you can see here we're kind of shooting for classic Euclid or maybe the, the Terex color on the trucks there. And this one is very clearly meant to be uh, just the cat. And you can see the rims are similar here. See, this is the Rogue Raider and this is the... Um, the uh, big boy dump truck. Very durable wheels. Look at how filthy that is. That must spend a lot of time outside. I'm actually going to clean that up. Yeah, we'll probably clean these up at some point. We're not going to do it for the review though because these are these these are outdoor toys. These are just things to go outside and have fun with, right? Except for the Tonka dump truck. Yeah, we don't take that there's one a little, outside. There's a, there's a little... I didn't notice this. There's scratches on the rims. Yeah. Yeah, we that's probably from us playing Highway to Hell. We we play Highway to Hell with this this guy. We don't really deal with these other two because they they're not uh, they're not tow truck vehicles, but they're more and, and heavy duty construction stuff. But this one we mostly use as um we mostly use as one of the the trucks that's been tipped over and we have to rescue. Yeah, and we use it. We fill it with uh, Team Hot Wheels a lot. Yeah. Okay, guys, and there it is. Let's get one final look. Let's get an aerial look at all these. Oh, it just tipped over. And we're gonna, it's going to be hard for us to get an aerial view of that guy because he's just going crazy over there. But, guys, that is... Okay. And oh, yeah. let's take a look the at the like. back. Okay. It's like a fork that has the hook on it. Yeah, it's got the tow package. It, and there's there's somewhere you can hook a trailer in down here. We don't have any of those trailers, but you can do that if you have the trailers that go with it, uh, which we don't. But uh, you can see there's no tail lights, and there's just not a lot of decoration on this. Boom! Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us this time. As always, we appreciate <laughs> you guys coming by. Here I am. Hanging out with us. Let's see if we can find Leo real quick. Boom! There he is. You guys, <laughs> if you guys like this video, please give us the old. The guys went like, ah, you scared me, Leo. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that, guys. We didn't mean to scare you. But if you like being scared, you like this video, please give us the old <laughs> thumbs up. Boo! Click subscribe if you have not done so already. And then click the boo button. Yeah, if there's a boo button, make sure you click that. Click it like four or five times. And if you guys want to leave us any comments, we would love to hear from you. Lots of stuff you could tell us uh, if there's any particular construction vehicles you want to see. Uh, there's lots of uh, videos yeah, that we have in the playlist. Yeah, we have all kinds of playlists for you guys to check out. All sorted to make it easier for you. But we will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.